genuinely happy for you, sincerely. Because having Kelly in your life, you are not just lucky <laughs> or blessed. And I, I, I'm sure you know that, right? <laughs> well, I must say he really caught me on the blind side. I didn't see the gift coming. Oh, that young man loves you so much. Oh. He loves you so much. He's head over heels in love with you. He loves you to the moon and back. Lizzie! What? Stop it. Come on, girl. Don't be too soft. I'm not being soft. I'm just being emotional. I, I, I get like this when I'm emotional. It's like I'm being soft, right? Because uh, true love gets me like this. And I love love. Everybody does. <laughs> okay, now, away from that. Baby girl, you just got a car, mm -hmm. a baby, mm -hmm. a smooth ride. Mm -hmm. So, honey, when are we cruising in your car? Like, hello, baby. <laughs> when? When are we cruising in my car? Of course, I can wait. Um, we're not going to cruise in it. I'm selling it. Excuse you? Mm -hmm. Is something wrong with you? Watch me do that. I mean, I can make cool money out of selling that car. Do you want them to kidnap me? No, hell no. I'm not cruising on that car. Never. Sorry, I'm late. It's okay. Um, I had a late emergency. I had to take Lizzie to the hospital. What is wrong with her? And she had intense stomach pain. How is she feeling now? Well, she's much better by the time I left the hospital. Oh, that's good. You look so beautiful. I love your outfit. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. All this for me? Who else? Why do I have this feeling that you're up to something? I mean, when you called me on phone, you said you wanted us to take this relationship to a next level. What's that supposed to mean? My Mandy. From the very first day I set my eyes on you, I knew I was going to spend the rest of my life with you. You're beautiful, you're sweet, you're hardworking, you're intelligent. What else would a man want from a woman? I am ready to spend the rest of my life with you. Do you want to spend the rest of your life with me? Mandy, will you spend the rest of your life with me? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes? Yes, I will. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, mm. this is beautiful. Oh, baby. Love me. This is. Mmm. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, um. Waiter?
if only they knew who I am and where I am from. <laughs> I have become man to judge. There is no going back now. Perhaps there is nothing wrong with who I was. No. Everything was wrong with it. Forward ever. Backward never. So you want to spend the night with me? <laughs> mm. I hope you know it will cost you a fortune. Because I'm not a hooker. I have a boyfriend. I don't care what it will cost. Just say yes. I can't wait to have you in my arms. No, 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 Mandy. I want a definite answer from you right now. <sighs> okay, um, I'll get back to you on that, okay? Let me think about it. Wait a minute. Are you having the feelings that I can't pay your bills? Or is this your way of getting rid of me? Oh, no, no, no. Please don't go yet. Hello? <laughs> No, not at all. Um, it's not a way of getting rid of you. You know, I have to think and know if I want to commit such sin with you. All right, then. I have to go. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> he said he can pay. That's what we're talking about. Money. Hi, Kelly. Mm. 
dying? What, what is it, Kelly? What is it? Are you okay? Excuse me? Mandy. How? Like... I'm sorry, but I'm confused. Which Mandy? This is serious. Please, Kelly, just calm down. Take a chill pill. Calm down. Please, calm down. Don't... Where are you? Okay, please do not hurt yourself. I'll see you pretty soon, okay? I'll see you soon. Cheating. Mandy, how? For how long have you been drinking? All night. All night, you don't understand. I love Mandy. I love her so much. I love her so, so, so much. I love her. I am not disputing that fact. I want to take this easy. You have to calm down, yes. You know, oh, these things you're talking about, I cannot understand how Mandy would cheat on you just a month to your wedding. Like, I don't understand it. Don't tell me to calm down. Calm down and I am like this. You're telling me to calm down. My heart is on fire. I am hot. Do you know what it means to love? The woman I love so much is cheating on me. She's killing me! And you're telling me to calm down. Calm down! Hey! She's in on you. <laughs> you know, I'm confused. I'm confused because I can't, I can't place my fingers around these things you're saying. I can't understand what you're saying. Okay, friend, do you have something to prove? Something to just prove that? Cheating? How? Yes. I, I didn't understand. Exactly. How? How will my own Mandy, Mandy, be frolicking with different men? Why? How? How? So you won't understand it until I send you her nude pictures with different men. Different men. That's when you understand what this girl is doing behind me. That's when you understand how I am feeling now. What I am feeling. That's when you understand it. That's what. That's what. Different men. Nude pictures. Just two days ago. Mandy! I need to talk to that bitch. This girl. What? I need to talk to this girl. Like, I don't. Mandy! Sit! What is this? I 
Where did you get this? Kelly. No. 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 I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose a rich client. No. Excuse you? Did you just call a man you said yes to weeks ago? A client? Yes. <laughs> Wait. What demon has possessed you? Why would you let a good man love you? That's because I have never loved before. The only man I have loved is the one that put me on this path. All I wanted is to make money. Money. As much as I can. <laughs> no. <laughs> that will not happen. Let me tell you what will happen. You will keep losing love. Good men. Until your heart is turned into stone. And you become a beast. What am I saying? I am not a beast. I am not a beast. Stop it. Stop it, please. Stop it. Do you know what you have just done? Do you understand what you have just done to a man that loves you? You just broke his heart. You embarrassed him right before his family. Excuse me. When are you going to put in all the money you've made and work hard to earn a living? A good living? When? <laughs> Did you just mention the work hard? Hmm? Did you just mention the work hard? Let me tell you, life doesn't reward hard work, but rewards smartness. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Are you, like, are you serious right now? You call lying, cheating, deceiving people, living a fake life, a smart way of living? You call that smartness? All I wanted is to seize opportunities. That is all I wanted. All I ever wanted is to seize opportunities. Listen, let me ask you. How many people have made this simply by working hard? How many? Oh. I am a living proof that being smart pays. Oh, I see. <laughs> really? <laughs> Lizzie, what are you doing here? I want her to you become my friend. Like, I don't. How? Now, darling, let me bring you back to reality. I know you. I know. Who you are, hundred percent. You are not daughter of one stupid ex girl from anywhere that got your mother pregnant and ran away. Yes, are you shocked? Mm hmm. You shocked? Esther told me everything about you. You shocked? And I know about Billie Jean. Mm hmm. Please stop. I am not done, darling. Listen up. About your father. Your father was a poor man, a poor wretched farmer who tried his best to give you a good life before he died. And your mother? Oh, a poor woman who lives in a wretched chicken hole of a house. Thinking that, oh yes, one day my daughter will come to me and say, Mommy, this is my husband, a good man to call your husband. And you are here, living a useless life. Your name is not Mandy John. Your name is Amaka Obiora Okochi. That's your name. Stop it. Just stop it. You have no clue of what I've been through. You do not know what I have been through and how I have worked hard to have a better life. Why you grew up with a silver spoon? <laughs> I grew up with abject poverty. It's as if poverty opened his mouth and swallowed me. You have no idea! You have no idea! And my darling, you are not the first. Nor are you going to be the last. That went through, or that will still go through such circumstances. Okay? So, poverty is a thing of the mind. 
So many women out there went through a whole lot, more than what you just described. And they live, still living in good health, good affluence, because they made do what they had. In a right way, not like you who is with their living a fake life and turning yourself to a devil. A she devil. What is your problem? Object poverty turned my heart inside out. I experienced what is not human to pass through in life. I do not want to ever go back to my past. Never. What I experienced in life is not is not what any human being should go through in life. I do not want to go back to my past. Never. We were so poor that we could not afford a coffee to bury my father. He was buried in plantain leaves. The villagers helped us bury him because his decomposing body posed a health hazard to all. There was no ceremony or song for the dead of his burial. Even the ground on which he was laid did not know his name because he was poor. Just because you know my past of abject poverty does not mean you understand what it means experience it on a daily for years. Listen, I am a very blunt person. I do not pretend. I'm only trying to make you understand. Are you a train of love? Oh, I dream of love. He's how to if I marry one of these men and he loses his sweat I will be forced to go back to poverty. Mandy Amaka I sincerely think you should visit 
a psychologist. Because your mind, your heart, everything is bent. And what makes you think that those men you date will ever be poor in life? Isn't it glaring? You get it wrong. Anyone can just be so wet. My play with this man we did me. My nightmare. Why are you? Why you remember the man? He lost your virginity too. With smile. I remember mine. With regret. Okay. Since you want to lecture me on men and love. Do you know what it means to live under a leaky roof? Do you know what it means to eat wood worms for meat? Have you ever eaten tapioca and coconut for food? Have you ever been cold and hungry and all you wish for is dead? That was my life. That was my life before I came into this city. <sighs> Mama, I'm feeling so cold. I don't know how long I can take this. Amaka, Amaka, we have seen the wars. This is nothing. You eh, know, it will stop. Mama, I've never experienced this lengthy hammer time in my life. Please, I wish God would just take it back. No one has God to take back his blessing. The one in our city, we are in God's ear. You know, I know. It is it's, it's now something. When it is its time, it will come. And when it is over, it will go. You know? It is for our own advantage. As there is too much hamatan this year. Next year, the only reason we are suffering it this much is because of the condition of our house. Look at everywhere is open. Uh, the roof is no more good. So this is the problem. But don't worry. Uh, we can't kill ourselves. You know? I just pray I don't catch pneumonia, Mama. God. God forbid. You will not catch it. You know, God? Don't worry, oh. It will be over. We need to go and sleep. Uh, and before that, we have to pray. So cover your head or oh, let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty Father, we thank you.
Nemo. Oh, you're young. Are you tired? Eh? See, eh? We need this money from Mazioko for our upkeep. Eh? Stay strong now. Be gone. We've not even started. And then nobody here, Eh? Mama, I'm tired. We need to eat something. You know, last night we did not even sleep very well because of that cold. Eh? I'm already tired. Let's eat something. I will be strong and keep working. I know. I know you need to eat. You know, eh? I kept the food for us to eat it later in the day. Eh? I am timing our eating so that it will serve us uh, for the most part of the day. Eh, no? Oh, God. Have mercy on me. I'm going keep it have mercy on you. When you begin to shout like this, it will be as if I, I am maltreating my own child. Eh? I don't like it when you are doing this. Okay, fine. Go to the flask. I take very little. Oh? So that later in the day we eat the remaining. And what make we fail or you can go? Mama, what eh? Let me eat. Mama. Mama. There's no food here, oh. Who ate our food? Mama, there's no food here. There's no food. Who ate our food? Ah, ah. Maka, what is wrong with you? Is this not food? I don't need it here. Mama, this thing is not food now. Nah. This thing is just ordinary abacha, mama. Can't you see? It's abacha. It's not food. I don't want this your drama. You know, no? I don't want your drama at all. Not in this family. Don't, don't even start. Let me tell you something about food. Food is anything that will enter your stomach. Fill it up and, uh, without any problem. That is food and this is it. Mama, you said we're going to eat fufu now and a goofy soup that you've already made. Why this thing now? Yes, I said so. Hey, Kurumiya, you know what? I reserved fufu for our night food. Eh? It's for our night food. Let me tell you, I can leave you to go hungry morning, afternoon, but not in the night. If you go hungry in the night, you will understand why I'm doing this. Eh? Because eat this, you know? Try and put something in the stomach, you know? Oh, Yoko, Yoko, um, please. When we go in the night, you will eat. Oh, Man, this thing cannot even work. Because, no. If, if, if you even want to eat it, finish, don't worry, finish it. But that fufu will be in the night. Eh? So that you will be strong sleeping on, the, on, on your bed. You know? Okay. Nemo, Biko, oh. You know? Mama Mugode, this is your hair. You need to barb it, oh. Eh? It's becoming too bad. You need to go barb. Eh? Nemo, huh? eat, oh. <laughs> Give me one computer, let me... Um, one. Mama, so you really want to eat, though? You <laughs> want to eat, though? Are you not the one to get to my own? Mama. <laughs> so let me go back. Mm -hmm. Amaka. Yes, Mama. Why are you not eating? Why are you not the one crying for food in the farm? Mama, I'll eat later. This book is so interesting. Amaka. Yes, Mama. How many times will I tell you that eating late in the night is not good? Now, keep the book and eat. After eating, you read. You know what I mean? But what say so? Awesome, not, not, not interesting. Uh -huh, Mama, that reminds me. Whose farm are we working on tomorrow? We are not working on anyone's farm. How then are we going to feed? Um, when I went to Mazio Koro's house to collect the money for the job we did for him, mm -hmm. the wife asked me to sell her gallons of uh, 
palm oil at Enkwa Market tomorrow. She said whatever profit I make, she will pay me from it. Uh -huh. So that's where we will eat from. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mama. I you. Eat. Mama, how did the sales go? <laughs> no. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. I sold all the gallons of palm oil I went to the market to it. You don't mean it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when I took the money to uh, Mrs. Sokoro, she shouted. She should. She was so joyful <laughs> she, that she even paid me more than I deserved. I'm telling you. Mama. <laughs> as soon as you left the market, I was praying to God to give you a kachawa. Eh, ne mama. God really answered your prayer. I can see. <laughs> I can see, mama. Because all these things. Ah, mama, you bought foreign rice. <laughs> foreign rice, mama. <laughs> this is the share of um, a, a water bin Udago gave to us. Oh, really? Yes, he returned from abroad. Yes, this rice is uh, his way of looking uh, uh, out for the helpless. Mama. Mm. Hey, rice is a Hey, God. Mama, for rice. Hey, yo. Uh, this is like Christmas, so <laughs> it has actually been long. I will have this kind of good thing. Ah. Hey, let's I forget. There's this room I had in the market. What? Uh, they said that um, government is trying to introduce free evening school in this village. Evening school? Yes, for those whose parents could not um, afford to send to school. Really? Ah, Mama, God has really remembered us. <laughs> I cannot wait to attend this evening school, even if it's the next 10 years. Mama, I must attend that school. Hmm. <laughs> I must. The way I heard it. Uh -huh. It will be something soon. Please, oh. Eh, it will not take long. Very soon. I, in fact, very soon. Free evening school will become a reality in this village. Hey, God. <laughs> ah, Mama, I've really missed going to school. Ever um. since Papa died, I dropped out of school. Ah. Don't worry. Mama, I can't Don't wait remember you. it. Oh. Let me go back to this photo. Right? Mama, where am I going to? So, all, uh, 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 apart from all this, this, is, this foreign rice is what you... Nemo, Ma. make good use of this opportunity and do not allow anybody to talk you out of it. At least you can see how you are doing now. Eh? You are more enlightened now than before. Since you are attending this school, you see the difference between you that time and now. It's true, Mama. I've been blessing our soup <laughs> I'd rather die than to allow anyone make me discontinue attending this evening school. You know, there's this talk in this village against uh, this free evening school. People are no more excited as they used to be uh, uh, years back when this school started. Some proud parents don't want to register their children. So please, I want you to stand to your ground. You will see light at the end of this tunnel. Yes, Mama, I will stand my ground. Mama, I've heard so many things, so many things. All I know is that this is an opportunity for me to fulfill my dream of becoming a woman of substance. Thank hey, Mama, you. what are we? We, we are, are super poor. poor. We, we wear our badge, badge with, with pride. pride.
only need to make it good life. I needed to meet my needs in full. I needed to give my mom a good life that she deserves. My turning point came through, Emeka. My English teacher at my evening school in my village. Let me tell you what this evening class means to you. It is an opportunity for you to have that which you never had. Opportunity is the difference between the rich and the poor. You have to train your mind to identify an opportunity when it comes and you have to grab it with your both hands. Having the privilege to attend this evening class it's an opportunity for you all. So ignore those fools who say there is no need of this evening class. In all your lives, you have been told a lie. Do you know what that lie is? No, sir. I will tell you. The lie is that you will make it in life when you work so hard. I was told the same lie, but that is not true. Life does not reward hard work. Life rewards smartness. So, you are smart by taking advantage of this evening class. I have to tell you once more, do not be discouraged. Hold on to it and continue. I wish you all the best. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we have been poor because we have been working hard and not smart. God, this is sad. I swear, I will work smart. I will seize every opportunity I can never end up like my parents never Amaka Mama why are you still up up till this hour of the night and Najoge have you forgotten the three farms we have to wait tomorrow morning Ngwabia Dinana also Come and lie down and sleep. I'm coming, Mama. Uh, I shouldn't have forgotten your name because, uh, you made an impression on me yesterday. My name is Amaka Okochi. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> you That's right, Amaka Okochi. You're welcome. Uh, I don't know if my time is deceiving me, but it's not your time for evening class. 
No, sir. I'm, I'm not here for your pink classes, sir. Sir, please. I want you to explain something to me. Okay. Yesterday you said something about working hard and working smart. That made an impression on me. I've never heard those words before. I I shouldn't keep out a beautiful angel like you standing outside here. Uh, if you won't mind, can you come in so I can explain to you in a very relaxed manner? Okay, sir. All right. Come right in. Uh, so, what aspect of my pep talk of yesterday do you need me to explain deeper for you? All my life, I've never heard anyone speak lightly about hard work. However, what you said about working smart makes sense to me. I am from possibly the poorest family in this village. My father worked hard all his life and died poor. My mother is still working hard and I'm sure she's surely going to die poor. I am working hard now and I don't think I am better than them. School side, please. I want you to explain to me what you mean by working smart. I will explain it to you. But in explaining it, I will like to demonstrate it. Because while demonstrating it, I'll be able to drive home my point. Working smart is the ability for you to recognize opportunities and grab them with both hands when it comes your way. Amaka. Sir. Opportunity comes our way every day. At the same time, there are forces that try to oppose us from recognizing or rather achieving those opportunities. Some of the forces are one, fear, two, people's opinion, three, lack of courage, four, blindness. Blindness is the inability for us to see potentials and opportunities when they come our way. I get you, sir. No. You don't. Hold on, I'm coming. thousand naira. Have you ever seen or touched this kind of money in your life? Never, sir. Now, this money is a great opportunity. This money can become yours if only you can take the advantage I will present before you. What is the opportunity, sir? I want you to take off your clothes so I can see what you have on your chest. No, sir, it's not right. You see? 
you do not understand what I've been talking about. A few minutes ago, I told you about opportunity and forces. Forces are those things that will prevent you from achieving those things you ought to achieve. Fear and lack of courage is depriving you from making this money yours. I didn't ask to have a carnal knowledge of you. All I ask is for you to take off your clothes so I can see what you have there. Think and take away fear from your mind. I will never do anything nasty to you. If I try that, you can raise an alarm and people will hear your voice. Okay, you can come and see it, sir. No. I won't. You still didn't get the point. In life, when opportunities come, you have to be smart. You have to be brave. You have to be ruthless. You have to be courageous to grab such opportunities with both hands. If you do not grab it, others we do so. Others will grab it and you will lose it all. Have you heard a saying that says fortune favors the brave? No, sir. I've never heard of that. My request was for you to take off these clothes. Let me behold what you have there. I won't do it for you. Take off the bra. Did you get money to buy all these? Because I know for sure that if we work for the whole year, we wouldn't afford all these. He said, "Be where we they go." Mama, I've learned a new way to work. We got it from God as well. I I I don't understand. What you are just saying is scattering my head. Is it Naga Sam? Amaka? Mama. Ibu Hereko? Mba no. Amaka to choke him now, choke him. Ibu Hereko Agada. Are you now selling yourself to men? No, Mama, no. 
I'm not selling myself to men. Mama, see, all we have been doing has been working hard. Instead of seizing opportunities that could have bettered our lives. Mama, let me ask you something. What have we achieved all this while we've been working hard? Nothing. I've learned to work smart. I now know that fortune favors the brave. I still don't get it. KP mean. What do you mean by fortune favors the brave? Amaka. Mama. Are you now planning to join a robbery gang? No, Mama. That is not working smart, Mama. Mama, with what I know now, within a short while, I'll be able to get you a phone, change this leaking roof, furnish this house, and someday build you a new house. Hmm. Hey, Rata Hakwamo, all these things you mentioned now. You will do them for me. Yes, Mama. Mua. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. But let me ask you. Please, where did you get uh, 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 the knowledge of what you have been referring to? Um, I learned them from my evening classes. Evening classes. Evening classes. Yes, Mama. Chere, aku kumbwe da. Hey, hey, hey. Now you are talking. You want to go for fun, Anna? My mind is relaxed now. Mm -hmm. Hey, I am very happy. Okay, for me, Pia, Pia, go. When then I see if I do go, light is coming. Yes, Mama. Hey, I am glad you we are not discouraged like others that dropped out from that evening school. Eh? You are so encouraged to you today. Now the light is coming. Nemo. I'm with you. Don't worry. What are we? We are super, super poor. poor. We wear our badge with pride. Oh yeah. So, Mama, I know you like this one. <laughs> This year. Mama, good morning. Come back here. Where are you going, Jamak? Uh, eh? Are you not joining me in the farm? Mama, I'm coming. I want to get some books from the English teacher. Can't you wait? In the evening, you get it. Eh? You know how hot the weather used to be these days. Let's make good use of this morning weather. Mama don't... Mama, don't worry. I will join you before you know it. I have to get this book so that I can read it a bit when I get back from the farm before going for evening lessons. Mama, don't worry. I'm coming, okay? I will join you. Uh, let it not be you want to leave me to do the whole job, only me. Uh, uh, Mama, you know I cannot leave you to do that now. Mama, I just want to get the books. I'm coming, Mama. Don't worry.
Who is there? Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Don't tell me you're still sleeping by this time of the day. Ah. I was reading when you knocked. You know, because I take you people on evening classes, I do my reading early in the morning. What are you doing here early this morning? You are reading and you are pressing your phone. City people and phone. I wish I knew how to press phone. Are you not going to allow me inside? I take it you want to learn how to operate a phone. Yes, I really do. Not knowing how to operate a phone makes me ashamed of myself. Oh, come on. You don't need to be ashamed of yourself because you don't know how to operate a phone. Right, let me guide you on the primary areas on how to operate a phone, okay? Take a look at this. If you want to dial someone's number, hmm, you come to this place. Say for example, the person's number is 080-5248-5202. This is the send button you send. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so, this is the camera. Okay. If you want to take a picture, you take it from here. When you come close, let me take a picture of us. <laughs> Alright? This is called selfie. Okay. Yeah. You know, take it this way. Ah. <sighs> Take a look at it. Is that me? This is us. Wow, I ah. you. <laughs> of course, you are pretty. Even the river goddess will be so jealous of you. <laughs> okay, have it. I want you to snap us. No, I'm, I'm not sure I can snap you, sir. Give it a try. All right? Okay. Okay. Then... Hold it. This is the camera. I will come close. Focus it. Focus. Raise it up. Okay. Allow it to get focused. Okay? okay. Okay. Fine. Do it right now. Selfie. Come close. Come close. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you see? I did. <laughs> of course. Jeez, just snapped you now. You no, know, I know you can do it. Hmm? Um, I wish I have a phone I can operate with so that I can learn very fast. Ah, I have an old phone that I'm not making use of for now and uh, I have a new SIM card inside. So I'll give you the phone and the new SIM card. So whenever you're able to buy a new SIM card, you give me back mine. Take the old phone and your new SIM card. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you're welcome. You, you're welcome. You. Who is there? Hold on, let me know who's at the door. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, Chica. How are you? I'm fine, are you? Very well. My mom asked me to bring this thing. It's your mom? Oh. So thoughtful of her. <laughs> Say my regards to her, okay? Uh, on my way going, I will stop over to thank her. Okay. All right then. Okay, sir. Bye -bye. Thank you. All right then. Take care. Bye. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, Amaka, I will go back to my studies. You've not told me why you are here early this morning. Thank you. Um, I have been thinking about our lessons and having shown you my body. What do you have in mind? 
I don't know much about life beyond the boundaries of this village. We don't even have a radio in my house. I'd love you to help me with books, magazines, newspapers, so I can know more about the people in the city and their way of life. <laughs> Amaka, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, sir. I sincerely appreciate your quest for more knowledge. I'll give you some magazines and uh, some books. But please, please make sure you return them to me without a scratch on them. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is that all you can say? Can't you just give me a very deep kiss to appreciate me? Kiss is not available. I want to hold on. Let me get you the phone and the magazine and the books, okay? Mama, uh, where are you going to? Looking for you, of course. I'm looking for you. Why? Are you done? So that was why you ran off with the excuse of going to collect uh, 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 the book you will read. Eh? Okay. What's up with your cookies? Onya na no zenu. The work is still 100% there waiting for both of us to come and finish it. Mama. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Wait, Choko. Is this not a phone? Yes, Mama, it is. I know you asked me how I got it, but don't worry, I'll tell you when we get home. Not only do the walls have ears, the trees do as well. I'll tell you when we get home. You see. Mama, let's go. You are doing wonders these days. Hey, am I? You are doing wonders these days. Yeah, let's go and go. Mama, give me. Give me. But Mama, I didn't take me long. To no. the I Sir, you won't believe it. I'm really getting used to the phone you get to me. Today, I snapped my mom and I snapped myself. Yes, I did that selfie you talked to me. Ah, Marka. Oh, I thought that I was going to call you that baby. Amaka, what are you still doing outside? Didn't you see it is night already? Huh? Have you seen it? The phone your English teacher gave to you. Have you seen the distraction it is causing between both of us? Eh? Amaka, you are my husband, though. You are my husband. You are my friend. You are my child, the only child I have. I have no communication with anybody. Eh? Now, phone is bringing distraction. You no more talk with me. You're always on phone. Is it fair? No, Mama, it's not fair. I'm sorry. Very soon the excitement of this one will be off. I'm sorry, Mama. Please. Oh, yeah. Let's go inside. Let's go and sleep. Okay, <laughs> Amaka. Mama. Ah uh ah. -uh. What kind of book are you reading here? I'm not joking. Please come and help me finish the work. Get in here. 
When you get to the house, you read, or even in the night. Why should you be reading here? I'm sorry, Mama. Let's go. Um, Mama, have you been to the city before? Yeah. Okay, fine. Your father promised to take me to the city. But um, he couldn't fulfill it before he died. So. I will take you to the city someday. <laughs> Amaka, please, let's go clear the farm. But let me ask you, how do you think you can do it? Something your father could not do. Mama, don't worry how we do it. See, Mama, I have been reading so many things from the books and magazines my teacher gave to me, like this one. I've learned a lot about people in the city and their way of life. Mama, I wish I was born in the city. Hey, 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 Amaka, please. You like a lot of drama. Ibido. Mm -hmm. uh, let me tell you. Don't even think about people in the city. When you are here, where you are not will be hungry in you. Don't even dream about city. Let me tell you the plain truth. Village girls are well trained more than the city girls. And village girls make better wives more than the city. So you have much advantage being here in the village. So don't dream about city. And Anno, where is your machete? Oh, I left it at the farm. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's go. Come, 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 come. Let's go and finish it up. I can tell the brutal lesson you taught me about being smart hit home. However, I have been pondering about it so many nights and it has challenged my sacred moral values. I am glad you understood everything that I taught you. You see, when opportunity comes, you have to be ready. Aside being ready, you have to be ruthless. You have to be smart. You have to be brave and courageous. So when you strike the first time, you have to get it without striking a second time. Something hits me when you ask me to undress before you. However, I saw the reward. It was far more than the time I've wasted all my life working hard. Now I want more. You want more? More of what? You are from the city, right? <sighs> Oh yes, I have lived in the city for the greater part of my life. As a matter of fact, I have my businesses in the city. Why did you ask? I want you to take me to the city. And if you do, I will offer you a great opportunity. <laughs> Are you using my own lesson against me? I'm afraid that's what I'm doing. What opportunity can you offer? No man has known me intimately. If you secure me a place in the city, you'll be the first to have kind of knowledge of me. few days ago, you were still uh, uh, happy about the evening lesson. Now you want to move to the city. Who do you know in the city? <laughs> what will you be eating there if you go? 
Amaka, you are getting irritated. Mama, Mama, so Mama, why are you worried? Eh? Okay, take a good look at me. Look at me. You gave birth to this pretty lady here. Let me ask you. In all honesty, what do you think this village holds for me? Nothing other than lack and poverty. This city is where the treasure is. That is where my prosperity lies. Mama, don't worry about what I will eat or drink. The people in this city, they do not eat their feces or drink their urine. I will eat what they eat. I can see that your mind is made up. I will not stop you. But I will ask you for one thing. Please, do not bring for me shame from the city. Don't go there and start their buhe buhe business. That is what I used to hear about them. They are good at, uh, you know. Please, no shame, no disgrace. And try and find yourself a suitable man for a husband who is going to take care of you when I'm gone. Uh -uh. Go where? Mama, you're not going anywhere. You remain here till I come back so you can eat the fruit of your labor. You won't go anywhere, Mama. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I will miss you, Mama. I will miss you, Mama. Mm. I want to ask you again, what did you tell them about me? I told them you're coming from the village. What? What should I have told them? Of course, you should be coming from somewhere. Hey. And my name? Amaka, of course. Of course. What is wrong with you? Why, why will you tell them I'm coming from the village? Why will you tell them that? See, let me tell you. Now, you, you have to tell them something else. You have to tell them that. Um, I'm coming from Ghana. Yes, that I was in Ghana. I'm coming from Ghana and that I, 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 I lost my business to Frosters. Yes, and I'm back to Nigeria here yeah, because I, I need to find my bearings. That's what you should tell them. Why would you tell them I, 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 I came from the village? Look, I have already told them that you're coming from the village from the very first time I came to make payment for the house. Uh, okay, fine. No problem about that. See, you have to you have to change your words. So you have to change your words. Tell them that it's another girl. That girl, that girl, that girl, that girl, that girl changed their mind. That this is another girl. I came from, from Ghana. Please, that's what you tell them. And listen, my name is no longer Amaka Okochi. I am Mandy George. Yes, Mandy George. You have your plans marshaled out already. Uh-huh. You taught me to be smart. Besides, I wanted to tell you about it last night, but we were too busy trying to look for another breast to replace mine. Shut up. Shut up. I was not looking for any breasts. Mm. Let's go. See, 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 see. This, is, this one is very important. Mandy George, don't forget the name. Mandy George. I'm not that village girl again. Mandy George. That's my name. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All this for me to enjoy. All my life I have lived under a leaking roof. I have slept on a mat. Had it not been you, I would still be in the village within farms and eating tapioca and coconut. I want you to know that wherever I go to, no matter how far I go, 
no matter where I go to, you will always have a place in my heart. Is that a hint of love for me? Please don't love me. Don't. I'm gonna hurt you. Please. I've never thought of love. All I think of is how to take myself and my mom out of shock of poverty. Mandy, stop! Stop! I know what I picked up. I picked up love. I know you love me. Don't you? I know you do. Mandy, accept me. Let me love you. Let me prove it to the whole world what you mean to me. I am ready to bring down the moon from the sky. Write your name boldly on it with a golden pen. Place it back in the sky just to tell the whole world what you mean to me. And I am ready to make you happy for the rest of your life. Okay, fine. I'm in love. But not with you. I'm in love with being rich. I'm in love with taking myself and my mom out of the shack of poverty. Manti, I know what you've been through. Of course I know. And I know what you're here in this city to do. I still love you regardless. I have slept with so many ladies in the past but none of them touched my heart the way you did my heart glued to you the very night we made love I am regretting ever teaching you the things that I taught you no, 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 don't misunderstand me. Monday, I love you, but I cannot force you to love me back. Maybe with time, you will realize how much you love me, then you will open up your heart to be with me. Stop it. Please. Don't do this. Mandy.
He must not fall in love with the English teacher. You must not. How can I describe this yellow? He spent all he has buying me this cloth. You are not securing you this apartment. Remember the promise you made to your mother? Remember your leaking roof? You won't do this. You are not going to do this. You will not. Happen, eh? So way they chop like this, you you fight for night. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. I beg, leave me. I beg, hunger homie. I don't feel even wait. I beg, I don't feel wait. May they break very well. Hunger homie. Take it easy. You will choke. Easy. Now you choke. No, leave me. If you want to join. Since yesterday that you came, you've not given us your number, and I have not seen any phone with you. Don't you have a phone? Um, yes, you're, you're right. I don't, I don't have a phone, um, and I'm not used to using repaired phones. <laughs> Wait, you said you're not used to using repaired phone. Babe, phones are very expensive very very expensive and i know a girl of your class would love to use a very classy phone it's quite expensive so you can manage manage for now maybe later you now buy a bigger phone okay and that's not the problem i'll sort myself out <laughs> babe all of us they streets we there for streets in the streets we don't sort ourselves out. Men sort us out. Okay? Exactly. Talking about that, which guy will fit this babe now? Who will go for her? I think James. James, James is okay. Ah, James. Have you forgotten James knows my boyfriend? <gasps> Pardon my manners. I totally forgot. Okay then, I think, I think Billy G is okay. Perfect. Billy G is perfect. Who is Billy G? He's a Mugu money spender. Like, he spends money for a living. Has a man. Cool money. He has money. Okay, um, and what does he do for a living? 
We don't know. We really? don't know. Babe, na streets be this. The day they ask guys where they from bring money, our job na to help them chop the money. So no worry. Let me call him and hook you guys up. I'm sure he will get you a brand new phone. Expensive one at that. Let me even call him. Let me call him. Call him, call him, call him immediately. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Okay. You like Billy G. Trust me. <laughs> It's ringing. Okay, it's ringing now. Hi, Billy. Good morning, Billy. Oh, sorry. You're still on bed? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disturb your sleep. You see, I, I saw you in my dreams. Yes. So I decided to call to check up on you. Hope you're good. Okay. Okay, Billy, let me use this opportunity and tell you something you would like to hear. <laughs> yes. There is a friend of mine. She, she's new in town. Yes. She's your kind of woman. I know you will love her when you see her. Yes. So I said, let me tell you on time more. Uh -huh. Yeah. I want to hook you guys up. Like, I want to bring her so you will see her. Uh, you know, she's new in town. So you have to do fast before all this social proper boys will come back collect her. You know how they be now. Oh, you are interested. I know you. <laughs> I know you will be. Okay, we should come later today. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, bye. Baby, don't have a bit that too. <laughs> oh. You don't have my diligent spends money. I have been a victim of con artists in the past. Um, sadly, one of my friends was just a victim a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it's such experience I wouldn't want anyone I know to, you know, get into that because it's just not the best thing. So I think I can relate to that. My mom is to blame for talking me into investing with this person. She flew in from the U.S. to Kumasi. I wouldn't shut up on how my mates are making money from multiple streams of income. Oh, your mom lives in the U.S.? Yes. Mm -hmm. I wonder what you're doing in this frustrating country. Oh, no. You don't have to say that. Actually, Nigeria is not that frustrating. I think the problem we're having in this country is just our leaders, bad leaders. So what's the difference? <laughs> you have to be, I'm trying to say I have lived abroad almost all my life. And I must tell you, it's not easy down there. Yeah. The way people think you just go overseas and pluck money, it's really not like that. You have to work yourself out before you make money. <laughs> yeah. My dad is the reason I've not been able to join my mom in the U.S. My mom and I have been hiding all my life. Hiding? You sound as if your dad is after your life. If you know who my dad is, you will know that I have no business living this wretched life. Who is your dad? My mom was an assistant to a one time governor. See me, George. Life happened. My mom got pregnant, and my dad gave my mom money to get rid of it. And I guess you are the product of the pregnancy. Definitely, I am. She changed her mind and told Timon Church about it and all hair got loose. According to my mom, 
Would you want to follow each child beside his wife? My mom went to public about the affairs and the pregnancy. It became a threat to her. She went hiding. That was when she gave it to me. So, um, right to say it was a bad idea coming back to this country in the first place? Right now, I have nowhere to go, no one to turn to. I can't even use my father's name like other governor's daughters. My mom can't even step into this country because my dad has succeeded in persuading the government to list her name as wanted. Wow. Such a sad story. And of course, uh, a sad experience. But you know, moral of the story is that I'm, I'm glad you didn't give up, irrespective of what um, life is throwing at you. You, you are still there, you know, trying to make ends meet. And that's that's like everything. Okay, I'm, I'm proud of you. Well, all of that is history now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we we start by getting you a phone, and um, from there you know, we we'll kick off. Good times, all lit lit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, we need iPhone 13 Pro Max. Pro Max. Not available. What are we after Pro Max? Sure. Yeah. Oh. How much is it? 6.50. 6.50. 650. 650. Uh, that's yeah. too much, please. Please, don't you have a phone of like um, 50, 40, 50,000 naira? Mandy! I mean, Mandy, can you calm down? Billy Jean is not complaining at all. Okay? Please get me the 12 Pro Max. No, I can't. That's not the calm down. I, I won't take it. Billy, I won't allow you to spend such money. I mean, that money is enough to buy the land in my village or even do something in CPA. Yeah, stop. Can you calm down? He's not complaining. He has the money. Allow him to spend it. I, I barely know him. I can't allow him to spend such Don't money. Don't worry about this, okay? You are a pretty girl and you need a good phone that will be fit your beauty, okay? See, this money is too much now. Money is too much for me. Okay? Can you spend such a money? We can build a house in the village for you. This is nothing. Billy with the money! Billy with the money! Billy with the money! Billy with the money! <laughs> yeah, yeah, put the denial on her. Yes. Please bring pouch. Pouch. Okay. Pouch. Billy, this is oh, too much. Oh, this is fine. I said it's fine. This is for you, okay? Billy, this mm -hmm. is too much. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very simple. So look around and see if you need, like, pouch, you need speakers. No, I'm okay. Power bank. Oh, yes. Power bank. Power bank. Power bank. Power bank. Power bank. Okay, I think I'll need like power banks and extra charges. Yes, and that speaker. And speaker, Bluetooth speaker, speaker all of that. Yeah. Billy, this is too so much now. Uh, Billy.
so I will be having an all night party in my house today. Hope to see you. Oh. I'm not really the party type. Really? <laughs> I find it hard to believe though. I'm telling you the truth. I've been on hiding since because of my dad. Anyways, I just hope it will watch the experience. Of course, this is Billy G's party. It's gonna be late. Okay? Alright then, let's see how it goes. I need to get, join the girls now. Has anyone told you you are very beautiful? Your eyes, the way you talk, the way you smile, like, it's everything. Thank you. Thank you. I have to go. Not even a kiss before you go? Nah, I say no. The keys. And hey, I got the doll. What's funny? Why are you girls laughing? Mandy, you are funny. Mandy, Billy G was ready to spend on you today and you were there acting funny. Mm. What is wrong with you? Babe, listen. Forget say condition don't change your level. Come on, girl. You're the head governor's daughter. Act like one. Wait, let me be sure I get you girls right. Mm -hmm. Are you girls saying I should have allowed Billy G to waste money? Just like that? Exactly. Of course. And mm -hmm. it's not a waste. Spending money on you, it's not a waste. Mm -hmm. You girls don't understand this game. Mm -hmm. We don't understand this game. Like, really? Do you know you almost embarrassed us today? Do you know? Hey. What do you expect me to do? Mandy, what is your problem? What is wrong with you? Mandy, we introduced you to this guy as the daughter of an ex-governor. And you couldn't allow him to buy you a phone of ordinary 650,000 naira. Are you kidding me right now? Mandy. Just take a good look at yourself, from hair to toe. Go to your mirror and look at yourself. Girl, you have it all. You have the shape, you have the face, you have everything. Men can do anything to have you. If I wear you or have this figure, have everything. Girl, my bank accounts will be running every minute. Tell her. Mm. And you're here. <laughs> Maybe she's a former Jeff for Billy G. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> she's a former Jeff for Billy Girls. G. No use your head. They dear. So now they may fight they wear you. I understand this game. You will see. Hey. Everything. Even though she I, don't understand talk. This I 
bon tell you, Billy. She dey for my jet. She dey for my jet for Billy. <laughs> My guy, I'm not lying to you. What I'm telling you is a fact. This one, you see this particular girl now, is the last bus stop for me. I'm not looking for anything. I'm not looking for any girl anywhere. I'm telling you the fact. Guy, come on now. You mean to know me by now. Okay, you know why I said she's the real deal? Hmm? We got talking, so you know, at some point I requested um, for her number, so she told me she has no phone. At first I thought she was joking. I said, how? Uh, oh, you don't want to give me your number. Why don't you tell me you don't want... She said, no, I don't have a phone. I actually don't want a phone. And yes, no phone, not even that. Even on social media, she's not on social media, any social media platform. She doesn't have a phone, just... It is not pretending, my guy. I'm telling you the fact. So then, wait now, let me finish up. So when she said that, I said, okay, fine, I'm going to get you uh, iPhone um, 13. That's, that's the latest iPhone. She said, no, she doesn't need iPhone. Even if she wants to get a phone, maybe the random phone where she can just put her SIM card to to you know have a proper conversation. I'm like, really? So this kind of girl still exists. It's not like she's poor or low class. This girl I'm telling you is the daughter of an ex governor. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So she's way too beef. She said she doesn't need a big phone, that she needs just a normal phone. She can put SIM card to make calls and, and stuff like that. So, man, this is something that is rare. It's rare. She got class. She's beautiful. When I talk about being beautiful, she's beautiful, top notch, good skin color, good everything. And she's like that. It's, it's crazy. Yes, I'm telling you. So this girl now is the last bus stop for me. Is he mad? What, what, what kind of rough play is that? Is, is, is he stupid? Guy, wait first. I'll call you back. Just, just hold on, hold on. I'll call you back. Uh, what kind of rough play is that? Huh? Yeah? Ah, uh -uh. but he knows it's my babe and he's, he's trying to pull head. That's how people lose their lives, just like that. What is the problem, ma'am? There's no network in the phone. I don't understand. Eh? Eh? I hope that stupid boy have not sold a spire sim card to us. That's my fear. No, I'm not sure it is fire because when I inserted the same, it came off. After a while, it swept off again. So what? Um, I'm sure it turns to be a temporary network failure. For how long now? Hey, try, how try, long? try. Hey, let's talk. Hey! Thank you, thank you. Thank God. Oh, you can enjoy your phone now. Enjoy oh, yeah. thank <laughs> Thanks so much, your darling. Thank You're you. Welcome. I was worried. Okay, now I can make some calls. Please do. Yes. No, do, 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 do. I'm going to call first. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. It's me, Mandy. Oh, babe. So the SIM card is finally working. Yes, it was acting up before, but now it's working properly now. Oh yes, I guess so too. So are you guys ready for the party? Um, no. No, I'm not, baby. Um, baby, please, I want to ask you for something. Okay, go on. 
Um, babe, you know I just got into the country. I've been in Ghana for a very long time now. And I do not have any bank account. I was wondering if you can help me open a bank account here in Nigeria by Monday. Oh yeah, fine. I, of course, it's, it's, it's a good idea to have a bank account, you know. Uh, do you have any bank in mind? No, no, not at all. Okay, it's just, that's no problem. I'll talk to one of my banker friends so we we'll get an account for you, okay? Oh, sweetie, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Hey, come on and say that. <laughs> Bye. Take care of you. I'll see you soon, yeah? Bye. All right, bye. Kiss, kiss. Girls not to take that call, but you wouldn't listen. You know, when I tested those alcohol, I knew it was a no no for me. <sighs> Mandy, I'm starving. <laughs> me too. I'm very, very hungry. Did you cook anything? Like, this is my house. There's no food here. No food at all. Mandy, please, go and get us something to eat, please. It's like my, my intestines have been sliced with a razor. Please. Oh. I, I, I need to eat food. Like seriously, if not that I can feel my legs, I'll say that I left them behind at the party. <laughs> Jeez. Stupid girl. Okay, you know what? Um, you guys should bring money, let me go get food for you. Oh, Better. Before you guys will starve to death. Just bring money, bring money, bring money. Can't you use your own money? I don't have cash. Just go to Billy G's room and, and look for money now. I don't. I didn't bring money here now. Go to Billy G's room and look for money, please. Yeah, I'm bring, bring. Go check. There's nothing on my bag. You will starve to death, too. What's your name? Sorry. Tell him your name. My name is Mandy George. Mandy? Nice name. Uh, I'm sorry, if you don't mind, can I have your numbers? Don't worry, I'm not going to disturb you. I just want to get to Yeah. that about? Mm -hmm. Start talking, I want to know. Who are you the former manager for? I don't know. See this one. No. See this one. <laughs> I thought you know this game very well. So what are you doing? I don't know. Get me the Chris. Like, you don't hide. I don't understand. Eh? With the way I'm seeing that guy, he's like he's very rich and handsome. And handsome. Yes. And you're here doing shakara. 
Wait, 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 mm. babe, wait. I want to understand. You think that Billy G will have your time? You think that you're going to stay with Billy G forever? The Billy G we are talking about now, maybe with a girl doing quickie, you know. You know. You know. A dirty girl. Like dirty that. girl. And you're here. Tell me what I do. Oh, you guys should stop this. Stop. But she's right. Stop it. Stop trying to manage me. I know yeah. what I am doing. What were you expecting me to just fall for him because he asked for my name? I don't do that. I need to make him see the value of what he's trying to get. Oh, oh really? really? Yes, really. Ah, so now you're a big girl, right? You said that yourself. Hey, let me have my shoes. Mm. Yes. They say, what is the color? Wait, 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 I may be traveling to Abuja tomorrow. <laughs> hey! Don't tell me you're going to Abuja to see a man. Mm. Mandy. Mandy, your light don't they shine. It don't start though. Your light don't they shine. I beg, don't you. forget us when you get to your paradise. I beg. I beg. Not, not what you guys think. My. My mama has been chatting me. She wants me to see one of her sisters in Abuja. Hey, aye. Sisters. Mandy. Isn't that risky? Knowing well that your dad, the former governor, is in Abuja. He might see you now. Exactly. It would be risky for you. Not to worry, girls. That's not a problem. She told me when and how to go about it. Okay. It's all right. Just be careful. Be careful, oh. Mm -hmm. Hi, Snap. <laughs> what? Oh, oh. Andrew. Andrew, the guy I met at this restaurant. Pick, pick. Pick. Hello. Hey, I'm here. No, I'm with my guy. Well, I don't think so. I already scheduled my day. My flight has been scheduled for tomorrow. But not to worry. I'll see you when I get back, okay? Have a nice day. Guy, who is your guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to see me. The way I am seeing that Andrew of a guy, I think he might be richer than Billy J. Exactly. You're right. I think so too. Just use your head. I know. Use your head very well. <laughs> Trust me. Snapchat, please. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure you buy me something meaningful while coming back from Abuja. I don't want to hear stories. Chee, babe, I'll get you something good. You like it? <laughs> okay. Um, at least I forget. What is it? Billy G opened an account for you yesterday yes. and credited you with something huge. Yes. I want to know how much he credited you. You want to know? Must you know everything, Esther? Just know that he credited me with something really good. Good enough. <laughs> Mandy, good enough is not an answer. I want to know the actual figure, like the exact amount. I want to know. Why? What's wrong with why? 
It's okay now. I mean, Mandy, it's... Mandy, no, no, they do like this. No, 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 do me this thing. No good. No, forget that I'm hooking and this guy up. Why won't they put me behind? You need to do update me. I don't know what's up now. Tell me how much way in credit to make I know. Uh -uh. I said he credited me with something good enough. Don't worry now. Calm down. I'll buy you something. Okay? I can't tell you the figure. That's the truth. You won't show yourself. <laughs> Anyways, I, I, I've changed my mind. I don't want you to buy me anything anymore. I want credit a lot. Hey. Credit a lot? Yes. Okay, no problem. I'll send you something. No, you're talking. <laughs> Thank, you Thank you. And please, um, don't tell Messi. <laughs> she will ask for her own call too. My, my hand, no deal. No problem. I was keeping this cup guy now. I won't be happy if I miss my flight because of him. But I told you to use my Uber guy. You said no. This is, they, used, they, they used to disappoint too. Just pray he comes out now. If I'd known, let me see him. I was keeping him now. Oh, he's here. Oh. Okay. Okay, you go in. Let me. You wasted time, oh. Sorry. Don't mind him. You're lucky I didn't miss my flight. Okay. Thank Take you care so much. Um, just tell Messi that I'll be back before she knows. Okay. I'll get to get something, okay? Guys, take care of yourself. Bye. Okay. Hey, you better drive safe, please. That's my girl you're carrying there. <laughs> drive safe. Bye. My girl. Um, driver, I'm not going to the airport. I'm going to my village. But first, we have to stop at the market to get some stuffs. From there, we head to the village. Okay. How much is oil? How much is it? 700. The big one of it is how much? Let me see. Okay, keep it then. Keep this one. I'm coming back. Keep this one. You have the big one of this. Keep this one as well. I'll be back, okay? They sell fish here. How much do they sell? I bet you get lady. No lady. This one, how much? This one, two five. How much last? Two five, like two thousand naira. Okay, keep it. Bring. Keep, I need five of it. Five, eh?
Okay. Um, add this other one to you. Yes. Five of that one. Okay. I'm coming back for it. Just wrap it. I'm coming back. How are you? Um, how much is Sarah? What, what kind of rice is this one? This is Nigeria rice. I want cup rice. Cup rice. How much you said that? 36,000. Is that the last? Um, so half bag will be how much? Okay, bring it up. Okay. That bag. Okay, just from here. Um, where can I get Indomie? People have Indomie. Okay, that one. And where the Molly Lana? And where the Mezin Chekube? Mana Dindo Mana Wangu. Oh, Lilanya Derem. And where the Molly Lana? Enwe kwara mezi nche kubeo Mana dendo mana wangu Olila nyade Olila nyade rem Olila nyade rem Mana dendo mana wangu Olila nyade Olila nyade rem Mama do lila nya de regio Mena dendo mena wangu Yes, Mama. Mama, this is me. So this is you. Yes, Mama. This is really you. This is your daughter, Mama. Hey! Not quite long you went to the city and you came back with a car. I know. In my compound. In your compound, Mama. Hey! <laughs> and Mama, as for that, this is not my car. I actually chattered it from the city to bring these things for you. Get that car on, <laughs> eh, Whatever you call it, I don't care. All I know is that car has entered my compound. Mama, you will never my change. Hey, yo. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> Dogu. Hey! Chineko, hey. 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 Hey! 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 Aha. Hey! Aha. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! 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 Your daughter is now a big girl. Hey, I told you I will make it. Now, <laughs> wow! Mama, I need to hurry up to get to the market close to the park. I want to get mattress for us to sleep on. We are done with those worn out, God forsaken mattress. Hey, please, please, please. Eh, hey, 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 hey. Hold your tongue a little. Don't insult those mats. You know, they have been faithfully with us during our critical period. Eh? As for that, you are right. But today, I will set them ablaze. Um, hurry, hurry, Mama. Let me hurry up, eh? All let right. me hurry up. What are we? Uh, <laughs> what are we? We are super poor. Oh, no, Mama. <laughs> we are not poor anymore. Mama, we are super rich. We are super rich. rich. What did I say? We, we are, are super su rich. We, we wear our badge, badge with pride. Ungwanu, Mama. <laughs> Let's go. Levels don't change, Mama. Levels. Levels don't change. Bring out those matrats. I will. I'll set them ablaze by the time I come back. Just bring them out. <laughs> Levels don't change, Mama. Bye -bye. We are super rich. We, we wear our badge, badge with. Pride! Right. I'm gonna drive hey, and take me to the park, okay? Hey, take me to the park. Hey. Mama, I'm coming! Oh, no. I'm waiting, oh! I'm gonna... Bye bye! Bye, I'm coming back soon! Yay! We are super rich. We wear our badge with pride! Pride! <laughs> Bye bye, I'm waiting. Oh, come back, oh, come back soon. I'm waiting. We are super rich.
Amen. In as much as I am happy for all the things you bought for me, I still have to admit that lots of thoughts are running through my mind about how you managed to get money to buy all this in a short period of time. <laughs> Mama, you don't have to worry yourself too much. In fact, don't worry yourself. I have told you I'm not doing anything wrong or any criminal activities in the city. I'm only working as a domestic staff for a very rich man. Rich man? Yes, Mama. Very rich man, oh. So God directed your feet to a rich man? Yes. Yeah? Yes, Mama. Hey! <laughs> You mean, Uriha? Yes, Mama. <laughs> uh, ne, do you know how beautiful you are? <laughs> Thank you, Mama. You are so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. <laughs> like my mother. <laughs> like me, like me, not your mother. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Uh, ne, uh, do you know what you are? This rich man, has he taken a good look at you? I suppose he has. Please, uh, don't be angry that I'm asking questions. <laughs> it's okay, Mama. <laughs> um, is he married? No, Mama, he's not. He's not married. He's not married? Mm -hmm. God, thank you. Thank you, God. <laughs> you have opened the eyes of a rich man. <laughs> To behold the beauty in my daughter. Hey! Mama. Chuku, thanks. <laughs> Mama, this is just the beginning. Hmm? <laughs> See, before I go back to the city, I would call the furniture maker to come and furnish this old place. Huh? Mm -hmm. And I will call the capital to come and fix this roof. Don't eh? worry. Yes, it's just the, this is small. Don't worry. <laughs> God, that hasn't eh, opened. Back to where I was, um, this rich man. Hey, um, <laughs> I'm still talking about this rich man. Uh, please hey, hold him firmly. Hey, respect him. <laughs> Just be good to him. You know, respect him. Make him to see the beauty in him, <laughs> not on you. It inside you that is the original beauty, hey. and you have it. Mama, you I planted me? it in you. Yes. And <laughs> Are you telling so, me? Don't yes. worry yourself. Your daughter knows what she's doing. Eh? Uh -huh. This is a phone for you. A quente. Yes. <laughs> we can be talking anytime when I return back to the city. They see me inside already. Hey. I'll be crediting your phone with airtime. Okay? <laughs> I wanted to get you a bigger one. But I know it will be difficult for you to operate. So just be managing this one for now. This thing manage. It's no manage you. Me, Agatha. <laughs> I have a quente now. Hey. Huh? Yes, Mama. Hey! Mwa, Maka. Mwa, Napa, Kofi, Gusi. Eh? Who would have given to me if not for a child of mine? Hey! If I'm with you, man. Me, I got her. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm alive in the land of the living. Yes, so. Seeing good. Where are you, my boy? I'm not feeling home. Mama, don't worry. More will come. Oh. Uh -uh. Hi. Ogini, okay, what? Mama, what is it? We'll be on that deep. Ha. 
Obiora Marita Mwokebo Soma. Why did you choose to leave this world? Why did you have to die? Ha, Mama. You should have lived to see with your eyes what is happening now. Mama, not again. Not again. Please stop mentioning Papa's name. Let the man have rest. Eh? Mama, listen, if I know what I know now, eh? Papa won't have died of that illness. Just imagine Papa died because of ordinary 30,000 naira hospital B. Ha! Mama, please, Mama, don't do this now. Don't do this, Mama. Did you call 30,000 naira ordinary? You call it ordinary? Something that made your father to die, and you call it ordinary. It's not ordinary, you. 30,000 naira is not ordinary. Because since my life, I have not seen a piece of it. Anya mafu to be here. Upon Anya mafu go here. I can provide here with Zondon money. We would have provided it to save the life of your late father. So it's not ordinary. Please, please, just, just forget, forget so all these things. No no um, like I said, this is a new beginning for us. Please, no. let it go. No. Yeah, no. Please, pardon my manners. Oh, I am so happy. My heart is full of joy. Mm -hmm. Come, I want you to kneel down. Let me bless you. Ah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I lift your daughter before you. I pray for your blessings upon her. Amen. Ah, blessings of every kind. Amen. Bless Mama, I'm here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mama, are you going out? Yes. I want to go to Nkwa Market to buy things to prepare wonderful Onubu soup for you. But you don't have money. Who said that I don't have money? Have you forgotten the one you gave to me? Oh, Mama, no, 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 no. That money I gave to you is for your upkeep when I've gone back to the city. I don't want you to spend that of it. You know what? Go inside, check my purse, you see money, take as much money as you can to, to get whatever you want. Hey! God! I'm alive in this land of the living to see good. <laughs> to see it. all this. <laughs> nah. Mama. God bless you. God bless you too. <laughs> I think I know this is <laughs> Mama, don't worry, just... Amen. Mama, go and get what you want. Thank huh? you. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Okay, now I'm going now. Mm. Go away, Mama. Hello? Baby, what's going on? You got me worried. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't call. As soon as I landed, my aunt was at the airport waiting for me. She couldn't even allow me to make a call or receive any calls. She was afraid that my dad had sent his boys to be monitoring us. Oh, baby. Do you know how your father picked you up at the airport or maybe you missed your flight? You know, so many thoughts on my mind. No, he did not. Anyways, Sabusha is cool. I'm enjoying my stay here. My aunt did not take me to the house. She took me to one of these hotels. Um, Topsy. Topsy Hotel. Mm, that's quite a lovely 
No, I feel like joining you over there now. Mm, should I take the next flight? No, 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 baby. No, you don't have to. Having you here will make my aunt think that I'm not in security conscious. Okay, it's fine if you say so. But just know I can't wait to have you back. I can't wait to have you too. Don't worry. As soon as I land, I'll be heading straight to your house. Of course, just that two days is it's like eternity, you know. Two days time. I'll be back in two days time. <laughs> Babe, I have to go now, okay? Please, I have to go. Uh, my aunt is coming over to pick me. We have to get something for my mama to we'll see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's fine, baby. It's fine. Don't do that next time, okay? Keep your phone on so I can reach you anytime I want, right? All right, bye. Love you, baby. I know, right? Same here. Don't worry, don't miss me too much. I'll see you soon. Oh, yeah. Feels better. <clears throat> Hello, babes. Madam, now what for you? Now what for you? Since yesterday, eh? Don't even tell me that you were so tired because from here to Abuja is just 45 minutes. 45 minutes flight. Uh uh. And you couldn't call us since yesterday. It's not nice now. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. I should have called. You know, it's been long I saw my aunt. When we met, we were just talking. And, uh, Mandy, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You left for Abuja since yesterday and you couldn't call till now. Do you know how many times we've dialed your number and it's been switched off? I know. I'm sorry for not calling. I have no excuse. For real, I'm sorry. I'm as guilty as charged. Don't worry. Uh, uh, you know, try, I beg. You know, at some point, we started thinking maybe your father has picked you up or maybe you've been kidnapped. We were even thinking of calling um, teacher Emeka. No, I'm safe. I am. I'm safe. I understand how you feel. And it's okay. Have you spoken to Billy G? He's been worried about you though. Yes. I just spoke with him a few minutes ago. Mm hmm Okay. So what's up? What's your plans for today? Well, right now I'm just in one very luxurious hotel, Top C. Hey. Hey, my girl. Enjoyment. Babes, you need to see the hotel. It's one of the biggest in Abuja. Hmm. I'm about getting ready. I want to have my bath. My aunt is coming over. She wants us to go and run an error for my mom at Asukoro. Mm-hmm. Um, it's okay. Baby love, just take good care of yourself and be safe, okay? Okay, girl, take care of yourself, okay? And please stay in touch. Take care. I will. I will do that, girls. Don't worry, I'll get some things for you girls, okay? Alright, bye. This girl. She's enjoying me. She's enjoying. Hey, she grew. I envy her, Sha. Mama. You're cooking already? Yes, in there. I rushed to the market and bought things to prepare soup or hot soup for you. Hey, eh? See, if you see how I was all over the market today, mm -hmm. moving and buying like a big woman like that. Hey! If you I'm not. Hey! You're a big woman now, Mama. I went here, they are selling meat. That is my mother. I know where you're going. That is my mother. Hey, this one, 10,000. Mm -hmm. This one, 20,000. Give me this one, 10,000. That Put is it in my, my mother. Bag. That is my eh? mother. So, this is how money is You are a big woman now. Eh? Enjoy the money. Ah, Almost all these things you bought just for me. Hey. <laughs> I bought more Morocco crayfish, everything that I enter market. I, I From bought From what all. you just mentioned now. I can tell this soup will be very delicious. Hey, you know me now. Nah. You know my hand of cooking now. Nah. my mother. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one you are dressed like this. Don't tell me you are going out. Eh, uh, Mama. Yes, I'm going out. 
I want to see the English teacher, Emeka. The one from the evening lessons. Ne, can't you wait and eat before going? Mama, don't worry. I won't stay long. I'll be back before you are done. Don't worry. Oh? Okay, oh. Mama, the mama. I'm waiting. Mama. Anna, me check it. Hold on. Wow. Who? I'm a cockroach. Is this you? Wow, I can't believe this. Amaka, what did you just call me? Uh, Amaka, I called you, of course. I have been reborn. Don't ever address me as Amaka Okochi. My name is Mandy George. Henceforth, do your best to address me as Mandy George. Ah. All right, I, I will try, but you know, for, for a period of time we were together here in the village, I usually call you uh, Amaka Okochi. So, it's going to take me a while to adjust to the new name, but I will try. How long are you going to keep me standing by the door? What are you hiding? Not okay, who is person you want to see? <laughs> um... Honestly, I don't like how you often make reference to this ugly incident. You know, if not for my lesson, you wouldn't have gone to the city to look how you are looking today. You would have still be here in this village within grass. No, Emeka. Stop it. Don't you ever refer to my past life. Stop it. Did I not pay a price with my virginity? Huh? If all I had done was to listen to your teachings, your lessons, I'll still be here. I'll still be in this village, wretched as ever. I paid a price. A price too precious for a young girl anyway. I never asked you to give me your body. You offered me your body and I took advantage of that. And I've apologized. I was wrong. By the way, did you come here this morning to have a fight with me? I've thought about what happened between us. Sincerely, I wasn't a perfect gentleman for taking advantage of a poor girl like you before helping out. Yeah. Oh. Sounds like someone has grown conscious. I won't be surprised if I hear your man as Grand Priest. Stop being sarcastic, Amaka. Oh, sorry. Mandy. Stop being sarcastic. I am as guilty as you are. The truth is, I shouldn't have allowed a beautiful angel like you slip off from my hands. I love you. I know you won't believe me, but I do. Uh -huh. I love you too. You do? I've never loved anyone besides you. It happened all of a sudden. I think I struck a chord with you. But that is all there is. Don't even dream of getting married to me because it might not happen. Why did you say so? Because I'm from a poor family. All I want is money. I want plenty money. I want to be rich. 
And I don't see you making the kind of money I dream of. Listen. We both know you're not particularly rich. And I don't want to use the fact that because I am in love, I'll have to go back to my poverty life. No. Don't get me wrong. I don't mean to be harsh. I pay the price. And those prices are what you taught me. You see, I... I will allow you make the kind of money you seek. But I'll be quick to point out something. Money is not everything. Love is a better choice. I want to correct an impression. I am not as poor as you think. I have my businesses running in the city. I'm only here in the village because of the love and passion I have for teaching. And of course the love at looking as young girls breast. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that. It's kind of slipped out of my mouth. It's a price I'm paying for doing something wrong. No, truly I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm a jealous lover. I can't imagine you being with another girl. I can't take it. I I'm seeing a man in this city. He's rich. He has money. But I'm not in love with him. I'm in love with his money. He's rich. Really rich. But I already have my plans. I already know when to dump him and move to my next big catch. You can do whatever you want. But I'll be waiting for you at the end of your broken dream. Amaka said she would come back before I finish cooking. Since morning. Eh? Just look at the time. Since, since morning. Eh? Kill, kill DJ this year. Ah, Nemo. Um, uh, uh, I know that face. You're trying to tell me you're not happy with me, Mama. Eh? Not happy? Of course, Nansum. I'm boiling. Eh? Yeah, you're not the one that told me that, that, that you're going to come back before I finish cooking. Look at the time now. Or kiss your Jenna City. Eh? When did you learn to, to, to uh, uh, stay uh, uh, out in the night? You know, it's not good, man. It's, it's, it's not a, a manner of a decent girl. Mama, I'm a, sorry. a child I brought up. I know, Mama. I'm sorry. I tried calling you, but your number was switched off. Which phone? Eh? The one that closed eyes since, since uh, 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 you left. Ah, uh -uh. let me see. Closed eye, Kwa. Oh. You must have mistakenly offed it. Look at it. It's on. Oh. Yes. It has opened the eyes. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you I'm sure you mistakenly offed it while it was in your bag. I have already concluded that uh, it has spoiled. No, it's not spoiled, Mama. <laughs> it's not spoiled. <laughs> uh, you, 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 you just uh, 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 scattered my plans. I was planning to go to the farm and weed. Eh? But look at it. <laughs> Talking about farm. Uh -huh. Thank God you brought this up yourself. Mama Genti, as long as I live, 
you will never wait on anybody's farm again. You know, it has ended today. How can you say that? See, I have already agreed with uh, Ilabuchi to work uh, 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 in his Kokoyam farm uh, at Umweze. Mama, forget about that one. Okay, this is what you do. You send a message to Ilabuchi and tell him that you suddenly developed waist pain. Mm, and that you cannot make it. That is what you will do. Oh, eh, well, I'm a young one. The truth is that you don't understand what I'm saying. That man has given me part payment of that job. Oh, he has? Yes. Yeah. I'm okay, you can... But how much are we talking about? 500 Naira. <laughs> Mama! Uh -uh. 900 Naira, and you're saying it with pride. What will you use 900 Naira to do, Kwani? Eh? No, tell me now. Mama, you will not go there. You will not. Mm. Eh? Yes, you will not. Oh, uh oh. -huh. Okay, no problem. <clears throat> this is what we'll do. What is the name of that boy again? Kayafaya? Um, Agaracha. Yes. Is he still in this village? Has he anywhere to go? How can he talk of leaving the village when the bushes around are still full of squirrels and uh, grass cutters? Oh, so he's still here. Good. I will give Agarasha 3,000 Naira. Hmm? He will go to the farm. He will wait there. When he's done, he will go to Ilabushi and collect his balance 900 Naira. Is that okay? Don't talk like that, though. See, let me tell you the plain truth. I cannot stop farming. Why? I cannot stop weeding on the in the farm. Because it makes me to be fit. Yeah. If I stop farming, I will get sick. Oh, that's my child, I will die you if I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I stop uh, 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 farming. Uh -uh. How can you say suffering makes you healthy? Can you hear yourself, Mama? Suffering makes you healthy. Why are you doing this, Mama? Mama, you not go. You will not go. Okay, fine. If you know you want to be healthy, you know you want to do exercise, start jogging. I'll get you all the exercise kits you can take off so that you can jog. Check what? Jump. I should be jumping up and down. At this my age. Hey, yeah. How can you suggest something like that? Hey, you trying to cook with Jane, Meggy? Mama, wrap my car, please. All I know is that you can never weed on anybody's farm again. If you must weed, it has to be your own farm. You know? Yes. Mama, where is the food? Mm. Eh, now the food you've made for me. I thought you wouldn't ask. Why won't I ask? Uh -huh. Something I've been salivating for. Mama, please, where is the food? Is it in the kitchen? <laughs> Hello, my love. Baby, do you know what the time is? I'm in bed with my mom. I can't talk now. I am sorry. But please, can it be possible for us to see tomorrow? Is that why you called? Yes. That is the reason. I, I can't concentrate on what I am reading. I'm here thinking about you. Then go to sleep. I can't sleep either. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'll visit you tomorrow. Thank you, my love. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't come earlier as promised. I was washing for my mom. It's okay. I'm leaving tomorrow, so I need to help her out as much as I can. Hmm. I understand anything for your mother. You've not gone and started missing you already. I missed you too. I feel different when I'm with you. 
it's as if I've known you all my life. You know, sometimes I try to regret why I taught you and your classmates about how to be smart in anything you do. If not, you would have been here with me. Mm. So would you have preferred me being in this village and suffer with you in poverty, really? What makes you think you'll be poor if you marry me? I don't know. I want to be loved. But I'm scared of poverty. Very scared of poverty. I don't want to get married to you and later go back to poverty life, feeding from hand to mouth. I don't want that. Don't you want to get married? Of course, I want to get married, but I'm still young. I still have time. I want to make money. I want to make money. I want to be rich. I want to take myself and my mom out of poverty. I want to build a house here in the village and build a house in this city too. Yes. Am I asking for too much? In all you've said, I didn't hear you talk about acquiring a skill or furthering your education. Oh, all those are not as significant as being rich. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll do that. I'll do that maybe later in life. Your phone has been ringing for a very long time and um, she don't want to pick your call. Oh, that's my new catch. I don't want to take his call when I'm with you. I guess I am not the only one growing a conscience. <laughs> Perhaps. <sighs> Emeka, I need to leave. I have to go and pack my things. I'm leaving very early tomorrow. I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too. Do I need to see you off? As you wish. I know you won't say no. Right. I'm sorry I couldn't take your calls earlier. I had a lot on my plate. I think I should apologize for calling over and over again. I just wanted to remind you we have to be absolutely fine. Okay, I'll be fine. Just don't worry about it. I get it. We'll see as soon as I get back. I'll be back tomorrow before evening. <sighs> Please, I need to run along. I had a very busy day today. I'm exhausted already. All right, bye. Baby, I'm back to town. I'm coming over to your place as promised. Baby, why didn't you call me to come pick you at the airport? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't want to bother you. Bother me? Did I did I say you're bothering me? Hmm? Why would you take a public transport when, when we have cars here? So how far are you from home? Um, I just left the airport. I want to get some stuff for Messi and Esther. Okay, so that would buy me enough time to make you something to eat. You can cook? No comment till you eat my food. <laughs> Alright, see you here. Bye, baby. I'm driver. We're headed to BC. Okay, madam.
Yeah, it's fine. I like the color. How much is this? Um, this is eighteen nine nine nine. I was with the 999. Uh, I'm taking it 18. I'm taking 18,000 naira. Right. Are you okay? Okay. Okay, cool. you keep this one. You I'm can this one actually match it to me. match. And what yeah. size? That's um, size 41. 41. What size? Okay, that's, that's No, I'm, I'm getting it for my friends. Um Messi. Oh, Messi is 41. Do you have um size 39? 39. Please, I need 41 and 39 for the both of them. Okay. Yeah. This size. Oh, this is lovely. Beautiful. Um, how many of these do you have? This is red. Let oh, me have the green as well. Okay. Also, this is green. This is red. It's fine. Okay, you can actually match it with this. Red, red. Those girls, they don't like red at all. It's not their thing. They have enough red colors bag already. So please, okay. let's keep this one. Um, what? Okay, let, let me make do with this. Get the other okay. legs of this. Uh huh. And then what else? What about this? Oh, this nice. I can't buy one. You have up to two. Mm, yeah, I do. Okay, get it for me. Okay. All right, then just pack them. Pack them. Pack them. All right. I think I should have this. It's okay. Just pack them. Um, we have lovely wristwatch. Okay, um, wristwatch. Yeah. She needs feminine. Okay. She can do that. Yeah, this is nice. All right, this is fine. Add it to it. Um, to, um, this one. Add this one to it as well. Okay. What about this? No, it's fine. Just one. I need just two. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Okay, add the tweet. Huh. Nice place you've got here. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, all right, just right. Yes, I'm good. Package okay. my stuff for me. All right. And let me know my bill. Okay. Yes, babe. What's up now? Eh? How are you coming home again? We've been waiting. Billy G. Can you imagine Esther? Mandy is back and she's going to Billy G's house. Are you kidding me right now? Please oh. give me that phone. Give me the phone, let me talk to her. Madam, so you came back and the first person you went to see is Billy G, right? Oh, Esther. No, Billy G has been calling me constantly. I'm on my way to his house now. Why don't you and Messi call, come over? I have got stuff for you. Really? Oh my goodness. I love the sound of that. Okay, we are coming. We are coming. Oh my goodness. Coming. Where are we going to? Let's go to Billie G's house. She said we should come over that she has got some stuff. <gasps> I can't wait. Let me go and change. Hey, change. I know you. I'll, I'll be there before you. <laughs> we are going to see her. Hello. Hello. Hey, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Welcome. Don't worry, I got this. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Hey, B. You're welcome. Thank you. Feels like ages without you. I'm here now. I'm all yours. So how was the trip? It was perfect, thank God. <laughs> okay, this way, please. I was just trying to round off for the meal before you came. Oh, yeah. You said that. Yeah. How impressive. I told you I made you a zumptuous meal. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's fine. I got it over excitement. <laughs> I hope they didn't stress you. You're welcome, baby. Thank you. Please um, have a seat. Thank you. So how was your trip? It was okay. I'm here now. Of 
course. <laughs> um, I got you this baby. Wow. You got me a gift? Yes. Cologne. <laughs> wow, thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I traveled, so I'm supposed to get my baby a gift. Of course. <laughs> I also got some gifts for the girls. I asked them to come over to this place since I'll be spending the night here. Hope you don't mind. No, 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 of course. <laughs> How can you possibly say that? Of course, that's what I want. <laughs> okay, so, um,. Um, the wardrobe. Let me take it back there. So. Oh, I'm so, so, so tired. Please, can you just help me take off um, this clothes? I'm too tired. Please. Please. Okay, sure. Sure, baby. I'll, let me help you. You know, I can do anything for you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. You're my baby. Anything for you. <laughs> Of course, you need a massage, I know. Hmm? Sorry. I, are, you, are you sure we should do this after taking your bath? So. Please, just do it. Okay, so. I'm a bit confused. Wow. <laughs> this looks mm. breathtaking. <laughs> Wait till you have a taste. Oh. Well, I added enough chili though. I, I remember you said you, you like chili. Yes. Um. Why did you change? You don't, you don't want to use. No, I'm comfortable with this. Spoon. spoon. Right? <laughs> I'm comfortable with spoon. Uh. Mm. You like? Baby. <laughs> this is good. This really tastes good. Thank you. I'm uh, glad uh, you love it. Are you sure you're the one that prepared this one? Hey, come on. Don't say that. I uh, mean. Oh. <laughs> you had when I was grinding the tomatoes and of course. Uh, I never knew you're good at cooking. Mm -hmm. I told you. I'm, I'm trying. I'm doing my best at least. Hmm? <laughs> Maybe be very sure. Tell me the truth. Did you get this food from somewhere or you cooked it yourself? No. This is too I mean, I this, this tastes too good. <laughs> mm. Well it's fine though. Mm. Mm. This is good. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Aren't you eating? No, baby, I'm, I'm fine. I'll eat much later. Mm. I like.
money in my 